Hey everybody, uh, today I want to show you this this uh, node real quick. Um, I think it's a pretty valuable node. I, I think there's a few spots where I would have used this uh, in past scripts. Uh, this comes from the Generative Design package. Um, underneath uh, Generative des Design, underneath Data, you'll find Remember, Data.Remember. What this does is it stores data inside of the Dynamo script. Um, if any null value is passed into this, it'll remember the data in the Dynamo script and use that uh, instead of passing null. And so, um, to show you this and kind of show you where that data is, I'll put this code block and I'll just put this string called my data and then we'll plug that into it. Um, it's set to automatic uh, currently, so if we, we see this data here and if we unplug it, it's still there because it's pulling it from the uh, Dynamo, or from the uh, the Dynamo script itself. Um, so if we save this and then open up, open up the the DYN. So we can right click that, click Edit, and then what we can do is search my data, or you can search uh, the Remember node. Um, and then you can see here underneath uh, the, um, or sorry, not the here. If we go one more further, you can see underneath generative design dot remember, we see my data. Um, so this node, you know, obviously if we wanted to pass in just my data, um, you know, we could just put a code block, but the benefit of this is if you have data being pulled from Revit uh, and at any point that may be null then you, and you want to be able to pull from a previous uh, um, you know successful run of the script then this may be a useful note for that because if we pass in null instead of this string what will happen is it'll still output my data but if we do a, a new string It'll um, update the DYN to contain my data one uh, and overwrite the the other one, and then uh, in the future, when this script is is um, being used, it'll pull in uh, the latest value uh, in the uh, DYN. So it you know it's an interesting node. I think um, you know I think it's important to know that it exists. I think there there's um, uses in the you know in this in different ways uh in, in scripts that you know may output null where you actually want to, to input something there's a variety of ways to go about that you could have if statements um you could store it in in other file formats like a txt sitting on the the, the, the computer but i thought it was worth showing i mean the data is stored locally if that data is like random uh and, and isn't that important um, you know, and it's, it's, it's like in this case, we passed in my data, but then it was overwritten by my data one. If it's random like that, it doesn't have to be a particular type of data, uh, you know, input, um, each time then this may be a good useful note, but I wanted to point it out, share it with you guys. Um, in the future, I may dive into generative design and, and, and actually start to build scripts like that. Uh, I've been playing around with um, a variety of like parametric modeling type scripts, um, like in this one, uh, creating facades with random panels. So in the future, I may throw this up into generative design, start playing around with that. Uh, but for now, I just wanted to show you guys that. I thought it was kind of interesting. So let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you're using this node or how you're using it. Um, and I appreciate you watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.